In the last video, I covered essential equipment needed for food photography for food blogging. This video will cover equipment that will simply make your food blogging life easier. When naturally lighting your food scene is not an option, you will want a quality artificial light source such as Global Ego brand lights. After the sun goes down, I use two of these lights but could easily get by with one and a simple light reflector. You can find more detailed information about how to use these lights in my artificial lighting video. If you plan to use artificial lighting, it is a good idea to invest in a light reflector and a diffuser. And by investing, I mean spending a few dollars and scrounging in your closet a bit. It is not necessary to spend big bucks on either of these items. A large piece of foam board and a white t-shirt will get the jobs done. You can find more information about how to use light reflectors and diffusers in my artificial lighting video. I personally rarely use my tripod for food photography because I find it to be restricting. Especially for final photos of a recipe, I like moving around my scene and capturing different angles quickly. This is mostly because I'm eager to eat whatever I'm photographing, but sometimes food requires me to hurry. For example, there's a small window of time to capture ice cream before it melts or gooey cheese while it is still hot and stretchy. Just starting out as a food blogger, a tripod is not a necessity, but it will come in handy in certain situations. I do use a tripod when I want to keep a static position for a series of shots and also when I am taking video. The obvious main benefit of using a tripod is that it creates camera stability and it reduces image blurring, which can be a huge time saver. Everyone has different styles and preferences, so weigh the benefits and do what fits your personal style and setup. Computers, like cameras, there are many different options for computers. As long as your computer has internet access and a photo editing program, you should be set. If you plan to store your images on your computer, having a decent amount of hard drive space will definitely save you headaches down the road. There are plenty of free, easy to use photo editing options available. Do a Google search for free photo editing software for options. If you have resources to put toward photo editing software, I highly recommend using Adobe Lightroom. For a higher end editing program, it has a logical and easy to learn workflow it has great image management, and this application was made for photographers. Photoshop is another editing option, but in my opinion, it has a much steeper learning curve. I use both Lightroom and Photoshop to edit my photos, but I recommend starting out with less complicated, more affordable options, especially if you've never used either of these before. If you are just starting out, begin with a free program and work your way up. Watch YouTube tutorials and spend time really getting to know whichever program you choose. By the way, I will cover the basics of Lightroom in a future video. If you food blog long enough, eventually you will start getting these annoying alerts on your computer telling you that you're running out of disk space. If this happens, or when this happens, it might be a good idea to invest in an external hard drive for image storage. Spending $100 on a hard drive might seem annoying and unnecessary, but freeing up that space on your computer will save you a ton of stress. This list of equipment might seem really daunting, but you really can start out with very little and build on your equipment as you are able to. Start with the camera on your phone, natural lighting, and a free photo editing app, and go from there. And again, do not let a lack of equipment keep you from starting a food blog. Get started, you can do it with very little, I promise. You can do it. Be awesome.